So the reason you might be sitting at home broke is because you don't take initiative. The reason you might be sitting at home broke is because you see something needs to be fixed and you didn't step up to fix it. You see there's a hole or a gap something that needs to be done and you're waiting on someone else to do it. That's what average people do. They wait on someone else to do it. Also, they don't see opportunities and they don't seize opportunities. Today, I was walking around through a tourist area. There were lots of vendors on either side. It kept raining intermittently, rain, rain, rain. People are trying to sell me t-shirts. They're trying to sell me flags. They're trying to sell me all these things that I don't have a clear need for but it's raining. How many people tried to sell me an umbrella? Zero people. Shows me the and lack of education and the need for the ism. I teach real capitalism. What I would have told you to do is, hey, youngin, you need to be out here selling small, low-cost umbrellas to tourists. Why tourists? Because tourists want to use the umbrella even though it's not going to rain very long. Why tourists? Because tourists have the disposable income. Why small and low cost? Because they're not going to take it with them on the airplane. They're probably just going to leave it in the hotel, throw it away, or give it to a person in your country. It's raining, but no one's selling an umbrella. Brain dead population doesn't understand capitalism. But here's the thing. Once you get some ism and you abide by it, you can advance by that. You don't need to be a genius. But every time I go through one of these situations, and I've been through countless ones in various continents, and I always think that tourist shop is selling the same thing as that tourist shop. And that tourist shop is selling the same thing as that tourist shop, and they're all next to each other. These people are They deserve to be I'm the hustlers I would have been out here selling the things that no one else is selling. If your shirt says, I love the Dominican Republic, my shirt is not going to say, I love the Dominican Republic. It might say, I hate the Dominican Republic, or it might say the Dominican Republic is better than the better than Puerto Rico. It's going to say something different. Why is everyone selling the same thing? But what this is what it really is. I shouldn't say the game that they're playing is called follow the follower. None of them are leaders. Maybe the first guy who made an I love DR shirt, that was the leader. Now everyone else is following that, but they never met the leader. They're following the follower. And that's why they're all doing the same thing, making minimal money, because no one's brave enough to take initiative, to take leadership. The world no is one. in need of leader. That's what I train. That's what the saints are. The leadership class, the awake people, the thinking people. Go ahead. Okay, we have Sada Saturn said $50. Baller alert. He said, peace to the saints. This is why I personally don't want anything to do with society outside of working. I just want sister wives, mind my business, keep the money in the family, and teach my kids the same. I hear you. I hear you, bro. I, I get it. I get it, man. And that's why I'm trying to organize community so that we can be located among those who are like us. These people you saw in that in and out, these are the kind of neighbors that they look out and they see someone breaking into your house and they don't say anything. You feel me? These are the people like, when the police come and ask them, like, hey, did you see anything happening? They're like, yeah, I saw something that looked unusual, but I wasn't sure what to do. Like, you are I want to live around people who think of their house and my house as being a part of a community and they want to protect the community. And if they see something going awry within our community, they're going to do something or say something and police it. Okay, we have a cash out from Solomon. He said tuition for doing everything no one else can. I appreciate that, man. Like, Because you know, I'm serious about what I say when I encourage you all to do new things. I don't know of anyone else who has been a blind man for a day. And I certainly don't know of anyone who has taken it to the next level, which is to say, okay, this is not about a skit or a prank, but rather this is about analyzing human nature and coming to a greater experiential understanding of how human beings actually think and how they actually behave beyond what they say they would do. Everyone says they wouldn't have cooperated with Nazi Germany, but I know they would because I understand people. I know they would. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they okay. would. One side or the other, right down the middle? Uh, right down the middle is probably good. All right. Let's get you over a couple of feet here. All right. And I'm going to head you this way. This be good, all right? Okay. Thank you. This is another good one. And mind you, the I was so deep in character that I was like not like really even looking. I was I was using that like far off gaze of a blind person who sees nothing. It was beautiful. 
But here's another set of Vegas showgirls. And it really goes on with my what I just shared in terms of the thesis of playing follow the follower. This is a separate set of Vegas showgirls. If just in the span of this short video, you've seen two different sets, that means the market is saturated. They don't understand capitalism. You're dressing up and trying to sell the same product and service that everyone else is selling next to you, which is A, going to drive down the price. So you're not going to be able to ever really make significant money doing it. So this is how people think. And this is why they deserve to be poor. Uh, shout out to Jordan. He writes peace at the same time heading to, oh, Conakry. Wow. Shout out. That's brilliant. He writes to study traditional dance and drumming for a month. Wow. Any advice on maximizing the opportunity during and after? Well, number one, the question for you to ask yourself is what are my goals in the areas of health, wealth, and relationships? I, I doubt health is going to be major on this trip in terms of what you're going to take out unless their traditional dance is very rigorous, but certainly in terms of wealth and relationships. So while I'm on the ground there, I'd be looking for financial opportunities. I'd also be asking myself, can I take any of the products that are in this market that are interesting, useful, appealing, uh, and I can bring them to a Western market, Amazon, e-commerce, you know, that's one thing I'd be looking at closely. Um, but you really can only define this against what your goals are, which I'm not familiar with they are. But that sounds like a really cool trip. Uh, I have not been myself, so do let me know what it's like and how it is. And then the last piece of relationships, you always want to, anytime you land in a place, ask yourself who's winning here. And those are the people you want to make friends with. Those are the people you spend your time with and you get uh, connected with. So make sure that you exchange contact info and follow up. So this is funny. I just walked into these two um, Vegas showgirls, basically hit their with my stick and they didn't say anything. And you'll basically see how they react. And this is pretty nice, too, because it also shows you like on the primitive level of humankind. When I walk up swinging a stick and I hit you with the stick, no one protests. No one says anything back. They just get out of the way when they're dealing with a person who's essentially behaving in a primitive way. They just step aside. I'm not using words, you know, which is a, a mark of civilization language. I'm not using any language. I'm using a language that is clear in every civilization, every backward village, every place around the planet Earth, which is when I walk forward and I'm swinging a stick and I'm not slowing down, you get out the way. Let you know how human beings react to power that is not about to slow down. I say go for like a fearless lunatic. This is the line at Starbucks. Look, I'm swinging the stick, walking forward. I'm supposed to wait in line, but I'm not waiting in line. I'm just walking forward. Look at what everyone does. They're getting out of the way. No one is saying anything. Everyone's getting out of the way. And what's worse is the line curves. The line takes the right turn. No one is stopping them. Here's a really important part, and this really annoys me. And this is why when people ask me, do I follow religion? I say, no, I just follow this ism. Because the ism is pure. And when someone says they're a saint, they have to be a fiat issue about this. They have to be a member. And we, we find out you're doing something weird. We will refund your membership and let you go. This woman is wearing a hijab. A hijab is something that is supposed to represent a reasonably pious Muslim woman. It is an optional garb that suggests modesty. This woman with all of her religiosity following the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, has not the kindness to assist a disabled man who clearly doesn't know where he's at. She just steps aside just like everyone else, which is to say her hijab is a thin veil, which means nothing. It is actually an insult to Islam. What she really is, she's just a basic white girl named Sarah standing in line to get herself a cappuccino mocha latte. Venti, she's just a basic white girl who might look like an Arab on the outside, might look like a Muslim on the outside, but she's a basic <laughs> white girl. Actually, should I even call her white? That's like disrespecting the white girls. Disrespectful, but you guys get my point. She has no culture, no values. She, just like the Vegas showgirls, did the same thing. Step aside, say nothing, let me walk the wrong way. Which is ironic because in Islam, they say 
stay on the straight path. She gonna let me walk a crooked path. But it's ironic that you got a girl wearing a hijab, which is a mark of modesty. I walked before I got by the girl who's marked by modesty. I walked by two girls who are half dressed, Vegas showgirls. The behavior of the Vegas showgirl and the Muslim hijabi was exactly the same. That should blow your mind. That should let you know that the world needs a new paradigm. We got to spread this ism. Shout out to the ones who who uh, share the work. Shout out to a saint named Greatness. Shout out to Isaiah. Shout out to the ones who take my videos. They download them. They chop them up. They edit them. And they push them back out because people need the information, the mindset.